New debate about the government's role in America's health. A prominent medical group is proposing new government rules that would eventually cut one-third of the salt out of what we buy at groceries or eat at restaurants, saying Americans aren't cutting back salt on their own. Sharon Alfonsi takes us inside this story. A pinch here, a dash there, and often a whole lot more. We're supposed to have no more than 2,300 milligrams of salt, about a teaspoon a day. But look at what we eat. One of KFC's new sandwiches has more than half the sodium we're supposed to eat all day. This Asian chicken crunch salad has more than a day's worth of salt. And this chicken parm, well over the recommended daily amount. So the FDA is now considering creating regulations, not recommendations, but actual legal limits on the amount of salt allowed in everything, from soup to nuts. Sodium in the American diet is a very serious problem. It's not that we're heavy handed with the salt shaker. It's that most of the salt we consume is actually cooked into the foods we buy. So this is the amount of salt you're supposed to have in a year. And this is the amount we actually end up consuming. 50% more. And most Americans don't even realize it. It's causing uh, significant disease, sometimes death. But critics say salt isn't to blame for all that ails America. It's more complicated. The people in this world that consume the most salt, they have the longest lifespan. That's number one. And the people that eat the least amount of salt have the shortest. Others argue forcing food manufacturers to change their recipes will hurt business. Some have already voluntarily reduced salt, but will consumers bite? We conducted an informal taste test of our own. A, the traditional spaghetti sauce. B, the same brand's low-sodium version. I preferred option A. The result? Tasters were split evenly, 50-50. Some palates still need convincing. Does it taste better with a little salt in there? There's a definitely a little bit more of a tangy kind of a punch. But manufacturers would have 10 years, hoping by gradually reducing salt, they won't leave consumers with a bad taste. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.